Hey guys, my name is Janelle and I'm going to share with you my brownie batter oatmeal recipe. I have this honestly about every day for breakfast. It is amazing and of course I put protein powder in it. So a lot of times the biggest problem people tell me they have when they put protein powder in the oatmeal is that they're microwaving it. If you microwave your protein powder, it honestly tastes so gross. So just don't do that. Here's what you can do. We're going to take, well, here are the products. You'll see there's one, two, three, four, five, six ingredients needed. Super easy. Probably takes about six to seven minutes total just with the different microwaving processes. Um, so first, you'll take a fourth cup of um, oats. I like to get the ones that are quake oats. These ones are organic here. Um, the quick oats just have a better consistency. They're a little less dry. So I do about a fourth cup of that. And then I add water. I'll be honest, I don't even know exactly how much water I put in. But if I were to take a guess, it's probably around a cup. So it's pretty liquidy. Okay, so you're going to see there's quite a bit of water in here. It's about a cup of water. Um, honestly, you can just play around with it a little bit. Um, then I'm going to put it in the microwave. This time around, so just oats and water. Go in the microwave. For me, my microwave, it's about two minutes, okay? So two minutes in the microwave, it'll still be pretty liquidy when it comes out. Okay, now you can go ahead and stop. Okay, so I just had it in the microwave for two minutes, and it's still a little bit liquidy at this point, and this is when I add the egg whites. So I'm adding um, four tablespoons of egg whites. Like I said, it's still liquidy. It's about to get even more liquidy when I add this in but I promise the egg whites give it a really nice fluffy texture. Three, four. And then I go ahead and I mix it all together. So, get a spoon, mix it all together. That's so that the egg whites get mixed in with the water so that you don't get weird egg white chunks. There you go. And then now I'm gonna put it back in the microwave for one minute, okay? So, um, just the quick oats and the water, two minutes, add in your egg whites, then one minute, okay? And then it'll be ready to add all the, everything else, and that'll be done with the microwaving process. Um, it's nice and fluffy, but it's still a little bit liquidy. You don't want it to be too dry at this point because you are still gonna add in that protein powder um, and also the Hershey's. So at this point, it's a good time to add in your protein powder. I do an entire scoop. So here I have a chocolate s'mores you can use any chocolatey or vanilla, once again. Um, one heaping scoop, I pour it on in there. Next, I do either one or two tablespoons of the Hershey's powder. Um, it's honestly 10 calories per tablespoon, so if you wanna get extra chocolatey, go extra chocolatey, it'll be fine. Um, 20 calories isn't gonna hurt you. So, one, and two. Perfect. It's going to be nice and chocolatey. This is a milk chocolate Hershey's. Sometimes I do a dark chocolate, which also is really good. Um, but you can really do it either way. Then add in a little bit of stevia here. I do about half of us of, of this little guy right here, but you can use about as much as you want. So about 10, 15 drops. Totally depends on how sweet or not sweet you want it. And lastly, my absolute favorite product, peanut butter. If you know anything about me, you know that I am obsessed with peanut butter. I put one tablespoon of peanut butter into my delicious brownie batter oatmeal. Oh yeah, so good. Yup. Okay, so at this point, just a lot of random crap all in there. Wow, that bowl's still really hot. Your bowls get really hot, by the way, microwaving them that for that long. But you're gonna see there's a lot of random stuff in there. And we're just gonna mix it all up. Takes, you know, 30 seconds to mix it. You got three minutes of microwave time, a little bit of prep time. So yeah, I'd say it's about seven, eight minutes total. If at this point it's a little bit too thick, you can always add a little bit more water at the end. It's totally fine. Like right now, I would say my texture might be a little thicker than I like it. Totally depends on if you like thicker oatmeal or maybe a little bit more runny oatmeal. But right now, my oatmeal looks like that. Nice and thick and delicious chocolate brownie batter oatmeal. Then you can throw on any toppings you want. From there you can throw on bananas, uh, you can throw on berries. A lot of times I like to do frozen berries because the frozen berry is really fun with the hot of the oatmeal. 
Uh, if you want to, you can throw it in the fridge and cool it down, make it into like a cold type oatmeal, overnight oats if you will. Um, yeah, really, this is pretty delicious. And I will get back to you on macronutrients and protein on that as well. Thanks. I just plugged it into my fitness pal. It is 428 calories for this huge bowl of oatmeal. So that's obviously before you put on anything else. If you were to put on a banana or whatever else, you would need to add in those calories. But 428 calories, 40 grams of protein, 42 grams carbs, and 14 grams fat. So that is 37% um, carbs, 28% fat, and 35% protein. And yes, I'm looking at my cheat sheet right here because I could not remember all that stuff on my own. Um, yeah, great way to start your breakfast, great way to start your day getting in that protein, those carbs, the fat, it's a great macronutrient breakdown, um, gives me the proper energy that I need to get my day started correctly, and it tastes amazing, so can't fight it, can't, I don't know what word I'm looking for there, can't, I don't know, I would just say go make it and let me know what you think, leave comments below, leave feedback, any questions you might have, leave them below, and look forward to hearing from you guys, bye guys, have a good one.